a little side view of you. All right, so we got our weather. Okay. Little bit. Shot if I was in. Curl locks off. Yep, yep, yep. Checked that. Checked all that. Okay, so we're gonna do our passenger brief. Now, um, so, Granddad, your seat's all the way back. We're just gonna keep it that way. Okay. Um, that's all. That's. I'm just letting you know. It's in the. It's the furthest it goes back. Um, if we do need to get out of the airplane, Graham. Yes. Uh, in a rush, what yes. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave my seat forward. Okay. I'm gonna open this door uh -huh. with this clamp. You're gonna get out, and then once I'm out, once you're out, I'll get out. Now, how do I get out? I mean, I just get. Do I just? What do you mean if I? Oh, if we crash or something? Yeah, so, something oh, like okay. that. Okay. Okay. Uh, otherwise, yeah, what we'll do you mean, we'll out? do that. But mom will be here to help you out. I don't have a parachute. What do you yeah. Mean? No. Um, okay. So you guys have figured out your seat belts. You got them on. Yes. We don't smoke in here. Um, really? I'm gonna turn the heater on preemptively because I am sure we are gonna be cold. I'm sure we will be. Uh, cold. Fire extinguisher is right here. Shouldn't need it, but it's there. Um, if you need to open the door, you just pull this up. Um, if you hear uh, radio traffic talking, uh, just pause your sentence so I can hear him talking. Okay. Do um, you have any questions? No. No questions? All right. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. This is cool. You got that. Okay, avionics are off. Autopilot's off. Get a little bit of fuel. Fully cover the brakes. I missed something. Clear prop! Booster on. The beacon is on. So the refuel pump. See if we can get it to start. It's kind of cold out. Uh huh. Oh, That's a cold start. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> All right. We've got oil pressure and temperatures rising. Go ahead and turn our lights on. Can you guys hear me? Yep. All right, so if your microphone is not right up against your lips, I'm not going to be able to hear you very well, just so you guys know. Got to be almost touching. Oh, Graham, you got to get your headset on. Uh, Density altitude. All right. Sparking VFR. All right, I hear you. Okay, good. Uh, we're good there. Radio test. Good. Taxi lights are on. Attitude indicator. Okay. I hear you. Yep, I'm ready. Okay. Turn coordinator HSI to compass. We are headed west a little towards 24. There. Alright. Let's go. 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 Lawrence traffic system 99 Hotel Victor is taxiing to runway 15 via Bravo Alpha. Lawrence.
That uh, one's on the taxiway, so we can keep going. Okay. side here and uh, just make sure everything's uh, looking good as far as the engine and airplanes concerned before we take off. Okay. Good. Yep, safety always comes first. Alright, let's take a look here. First off, I need to set my altimeter 3023. what we're doing this actually isn't going to matter but I like to have it set just in case all right our run up fuel is set to both trim is set to take off flight controls up down down up good our lights are good instruments good uh, make sure best power 1800 rpm all right that's good vacuums good amps and volts are good cut power Okay, well, temperature is rising, idle. Good, alright, let's get ready. Stay in lower traffic, Cessna 172, Fox and Romeo, the ramp, taxiing the runway 15 via Bravo Alpha, lower traffic. Alright, at this point, um, I'll have you guys keep quiet, I'll let you know when I'm ready for you guys to talk again. Lower traffic, Cessna 99 Hotel Victor is going to hold short of a runway. Stand by. Whoops. I went the wrong way. We're, we're gonna have to go the other way. Wait, is that right? I just, I, I thought it was winter. Yeah, no, I, I, I messed up here. Okay. Large traffic, Cessna 99 Hotel Victor took a wrong turn. Uh, texting to 1-5 uh, from Alpha 1, Lawrence. Uh, Foxtrot Romeo, can you repeat that last? Yeah, I'm saying if you're ready to go, you can cut ahead of me. I said you do my run up and everything. Uh, thank you very much, sir. I'll, I'll cut in front of you. Nine, nine, no, no, Victor. That was very nice of him.
Approaching runway 0119. Lawrence traffic, Cessna 99 Hotel Victor is crossing runway 19 at Alpha, Lawrence. Approaching runway 15. Lawrence Shavik, Cessna 99 Hotel Victor is taxiing onto runway 15 for departure to the east, Lawrence. that guy. All right, here we go. Once we get up to about a thousand feet, then... And rotate. UI. And clear of all obstacles, we'll put our flaps up. Lawrence Shavik, Cessna 99 Hitcho Victor is starting a left crosswind for a departure to the east, Lawrence. So you, you guys are good to talk now. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Yeah, we're actually going to fly uh, over your guys' house. Great. And then we'll we'll turn uh, down towards Sunfire Ammunition. Or, uh, what are they building there, that battery plant? Yes. I don't know if we'll notice it. But we'll, oh, well, well, you'll see it. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Oh, or do you mean the battery plant or your house? No, the battery plant, if we can even tell, I'm not sure. Yeah, you'll point out our house, I'll recognize it. Looks completely different. 
from the air. Right, right. Did your ears react just a little bit? No. Mine did, just a little bit. I just swallowed and that was all. Oh, this is cool, cool, cool. Are we going northeast? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. So, yeah, there's your house right there. To the right or left? To the left. See the pond right there? Yeah. That's your house. Wow. So you'll see it right out here, Graham. Okay. I'm looking. Because we don't have much water right there. Yep, you see that yeah, pond? I see it. I see it. I see it. <laughs> Oh, how exciting is that? Alright, now we will... Start heading towards uh, Sunflower. Okay. Unless, unless you have an idea of Matthew of something that's more interesting. Oh no, I, I don't have any idea. Uh, that's what I, I took my mom there last time as well. Okay. <laughs> Everything run, every and everything's so brown, everything. Because of the winter. Yeah. Brown, brown. This is the turnpike, I seventy. We're gonna see someone kinda go over us here a bit. What? Could be a guy coming above. Oh, yep, there he is. Where? There's yeah. a guy right out here. They're just keeping an eye on him, making sure we maintain separation. Sure. I, I don't see him. Yeah, the wing's probably going to block your it's, eyesight. It's but okay. It's okay. Down yeah. here. The water. All right, he shouldn't be a factor anymore. Traffic. 9 o'clock, quarter mile, 1,100 feet above. Now, if you'll believe it, that little call out we had about the guy above us, uh -huh. that was actually from my iPad, not the airplane. Cool. That's good. Is that the... That's the road that goes to Eudora, isn't it, right here? Uh, very well, maybe. Yeah, it's the one that's going uh, south. Oh, to Linwood. Or to Linwood, south. Yeah, this, we'll actually be going over that bridge here oh, in a Eudora. bit. Okay. To Eudora. Yeah, Eudora. Now, I recognize the interchange back there we can get on I-70. Run. I don't see any ponds that look like ours. They all have water in them except ours uh. because of our leak. Oh. We've got a leak in it. So we're going to be going over the Kansas River here. That's what I wonder. to see all those sandbars down there because it's low. This is a big field on our Now, land. do you see, uh, Graham, you might not be able to, but directly in front of us, do you see the four towers from... I, I did. I saw them. Yeah, so we'll be headed right there. Notice how much farmland there is right underneath us. Just yeah. Huge amounts of farmland. And that water tower ahead, just slightly to the left, would that be DeSoto? Uh, yes. Okay. You can actually see right over there, uh, that may be Hudamaki or Starside, I can't tell. 
So yeah, DeSoto's right there. Yeah, that's what I thought. Got Eudora right there. Okay. Wow. We could probably find Karen and Boone's house. Not that I want you to, but I bet we could. Yeah. It's easy. Somewhere over there. Yeah, it's easy to see. We'll be going over K10. Okay, I wonder what this was. And you see all this flattened area directly below us. That's going to be the commercial district right for here. Uh, for that uh, battery plant. Okay, right here. Yep. Okay, right. The here. Commercial zones. Yeah, and then there they go that way to this photo. Yeah. Now over here, that's actually where the battery plant's going to be. All this uh, dirt that's been moved. Okay, to the left there. Yep. Wow. So we'll circle around that and then uh, head back. Okay. There's the park. We, I took uh, Moses there all the time. He got in that pond once. <laughs> We'll fly right over the towers. Now, I believe uh, Dean and Karen Ball, their house is somewhere right here in front of us. It's south. So DeSoto's right there, and right here's there. south. Yeah. Um, now this is where they've been cooking out. Yep. Right, on the they got to move all that dirt that's contaminated. Wow. I don't actually know. I went and tried the place where we were. So this oh. is Clearview City right there. Okay. So it's just north of that. Okay. All right, now I'm going to start talking to uh, some of the other pilots that are back at Lawrence here pretty soon. Okay, so we'll be quiet. All right, thank you. Our traffic took an unknown hotel victor is 10 miles to the southeast and bound to landing 151. busy right now. Why 
traffic center 9 on Angel Victor, 7 miles to the southeast, going to be entering a left downwind for runway 15 at a 45, Lawrence. Oh good, it looks like we might be clearing up a little. I have a really hard time getting these lights to activate. You're supposed to click your mic seven times and the light will come on. Never works for me. Traffic because the 99 Hindu Victor is entering the left downwind at a 45 for 15 points. Just making sure no one's trying to enter at the same time as us. Traffic, 10 o'clock, 2 miles, 100 feet below. I see him. Traffic, 10 o'clock, 2 miles, 100 feet below. Traffic, 10 o'clock, 2 miles, 1,000 feet below. This is the really important part that uh, we keep quiet here. We're going to start our descent. Launch track to the left five eight five left downwind one five. Touch and go launch. Got to slow ourselves down. Up here is a good speed we want to keep. Black traffic system 99 Hotel Victor is starting left base for runway 15 once. Traffic to San Ana Hotel Victory is on final runway 15 full stop points. Traffic, 9 o'clock, 1 mile, 300 feet above. Only traffic to San Ana 585 turning left base 15, touch and go, boys. 
Mark Shavik, Cessna 99 Hotel Victor is on short final runway 15, full stop, Lawrence. Lawrence Rafferty, Scott, Nancy Hotel, we're expanding out that one. Uh, for long as Rafferty, I'm based for uh, Nancy Hotel. Flight traffic to the 895, turning final 15, touch and go, stand in the pattern, on. And that other traffic on final, do you have 99 Hotel Victor in sight? 99 Hotel Victor in sight. Thank you, sir. Lawrence traffic, Scott Matthew Hotel, turning base on 15 Lawrence. Approaching runway 19. Lawrence traffic, Scout 93 Hotel is number 3. Entered runway 19. 3,100 feet remaining. Shavik, Cessna 99 Hotel Victor is clear of runway 15, taxiing back to the FBO via Delta, Lawrence. Alright, we're good. Uh, you guys are good to talk again? Oh. Thank you. Awesome, man. Awesome. I was never afraid. <laughs> That's good. Granddad's still shaking over here. <laughs> I was excited. I was excited, but never afraid. You weren't either, were you, Ron? No. Oh, you did a great job, man. So smooth. Thank you. Landing, yeah. taking off. Weather was great today. Yes, it was. Wasn't bumpy at all. Oh, good. That was very smooth. Yo, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Well, yeah. traffic, Scott Matthew Hotel, short line on only one five four. What's the furthest you have gone farthest, man? Um, I think that would have been uh, the 150 nautical mile solo you have to do for as part of your uh, prerequisites to get your license. Okay. Which was when I went to Manhattan, to Emporia, and then back. Okay. All right. By yourself? About, y yep. Uh, about two hours to do that all. You enjoyed it, I'm sure. You love, yes. love this, don't you? Yep, and then, you know, on those longer legs, you can turn the autopilot on, and oh. you can just eat your eat your burrito oh, <laughs> while really? you're waiting. Yep. Okay. It's got to monitor everything, of course, but I yeah, the airplane will keep itself steady and at the same altitude. I didn't even ever think about it having an autopilot. Yeah. But it does. That's great. It's super nice. Yeah, so you can kind of relax. What fun this what fun this has been. Yeah. I'm glad you guys were uh, willing to go up with me. Uh, it was never a question. It was <laughs> never a question in my mind. Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, silliness. Well, yeah, if, if I really thought that uh, Granddad's sinuses would have bothered him too much to do this, so I'm glad that you were able to. Didn't. Nothing in your head, Ron, bothered you? Mine either. Just that one time, my ears. And then when you came down, my ears. Lawrence Travis is 895, left down with 15, touch and go, Lawrence. You just start swallowing. I did. I swallowed once or twice. Lawrence Traffic, Scott Matthew Hotel, he's supporting on 15. Three down, Lawrence. <laughs> Alright, and I'll have you guys stay here for a little bit. He's bound for uh, traffic. Oh, shut down. Uh.
while we're up. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> I'm very glad it didn't yeah, do that. Boy, so that would have been scary. Let me get out of this thing. Yeah, we'll have mom help 